good everyone my name is graphics the given mechanism in the figure at the top right corner of the screen is a crank OA that revolves anti-clockwise about O and B move to and fro along the horizontal line through O plot the locus of P if OA is 30 millimeter at 30 degree AB is 95 millimeter and AP is 58 millimeter now the first thing you do when you see a question like this on link mechanism is to redraw the figure that is being given to you so let us first of all draw the figure now if you look up the first thing you do first of all is to draw your horizontal horizontal line this way you can see that and you also draw your vertical line this way so you draw your vertical line this way now you see that now we assume that they are meeting at this point here is that okay now we are told that oa is given to be 30 millimeter but we are told that what OA is 30 millimeter at 30 degree. So what you can just do here, it's telling you that you use your um 30 degree set square, right? This land side. Let me use the smaller one. And you place it here this way. You can see this is smaller one here. So when this is this direction here, this is 30 millimeter. Are we good? So from this point. I'm going to draw my circle. So I'm going to measure the 30 millimeter from here, right? So I will just draw a faint line this way. Do what I'm doing here, and on that line, I'm going to measure 30 millimeter because this point here is O, so A is somewhere around this line here. And I'm going to measure what. 30 millimeter with the help of what my meter rule so if i place it here from this point this is 3 here 30 so from here 2.3 is 30 so this point here is my a are you with me now i take my compass place it at o take it to a at this point right and I'm going to draw my circle, thicken it. You can see that? So it means that from here, I'm going to thicken that point two from here to here to O. A is giving us the 30 from here to here. So that is the first thing you will do. So using 30 means that if you use 30 or 60, it means you're going to divide this circle into 12. But if you use 45, you're going to divide all 90. It means you can divide it into 12 or into 8. Shall we this 45 means you only divide it into what? Into 8. So from here, I will start dividing with the help of my C square. So if I place it here, I will complete it. I've already done the one of 30. The next one will be I'll turn the other side too to get it the other way around. But if you can't do this, you can do another one. How will you do that? Just place it on your T square this way. And you draw the other one this way. Right? Now, since you've done this, you stand it like this. So when you're standing, it's 60 degree. So you place it this way. Then you place it the other way around. And you get this way too. This is what we have. So if this is A, here will be, it says the, it rotates um, anti-clockwise, right? So we are going this direction. Anti-clockwise means going backward this direction. Right? We are going anti-clockwise. So if this is A, there will be A1, there will be A2, there will be A3, 
this will be a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 right and a can also be so you call it a or you call it a12 a or a12 on the same point now we move for forward and we'll have this now the next thing we'll do is that we are told that um, a b is 195 so you know if you look at the diagram from point a here to somewhere around this line here is a is b so i'll just take my meter rule and my compass i'll measure 95 from this point let me stand it like this from this point from zero here straight down to this point this is my 95 here and i'll place it at a then i'll mark somewhere around here so that will be what the 95 you can see that so this point where it cuts the horizontal is giving us what my point b then i'm going to join it straight with my meter rule a and b i'm going to join it straight but if you look at this we're not giving ap the extended part of a to be what 58 so what i would just do is this from this point here i'll just draw a line faint line first of all to pass through a this way all together so let me just take this forward a little bit so you get to what i'm trying to say here so forward here now from here i will now measure from a to somewhere around they will give us what 58 because the question is telling us that what ap is 58 and i'm going to measure 58 from here with my metal rule Measure 58 from here with my metal rule see if i'm doing that this is giving us 68 This is 8 here, right? Then 50 is here. I'll just extend it from that point back to this point here. So let's do that and see. There's my 58 there. So I'll take in it. Let me use a bigger one from here. So I'm going to take in it. You know, stop here. So this point here is giving us what point P. All right? So this is what we have here. So what I'm going to do is we're told that this moves clockwise from what? It moves to and fro along what? Along the horizontal line. And this is our horizontal line here. So let me just take in this horizontal line. It's more of like a center line. Right? So taking it from this point. So I'll have a long one short long short long short long short so this moves in this direction so it moves in this direction here now let's move forward so this is what we have from our diagram here so we're gonna start by repeating the same thing so we're looking for the locus of p so it means that what will the parts p will form when this 
crank moves in one revolution or will i say one convolution so this is what i will now do i'm going to take um from point a i'll repeat the same height so i'll place it at a1 we know that a to this point is 95 i'll come to a1 and i'll mark and that will give us b1 so this point here is giving us b1 and i'm going to join it i'll join a1 and what and b1 but this time i'll be using faint line right so i'll use faint line from here to this point right so in doing that I will now measure 58 from this point. So let me measure the 58 from this point. First of all, let me take this down so you can see this. So 58 from this point. So this is point here. This is 58 here. This point here is 58. And this is point 0. So this will be P1. Right? Now the same thing, I'm going to repeat the same height. I'll mark it from we know that from A to here is what is still the 95. I'll come to A2, I'll use the same measurement, right? I'll mark, and that will be my B2. So this will be my B2. And I'm going to join it from b2 passing through a2 can see that so this is what we have here now and i'm going to now measure the same 58 from a2 to p2 so this is 58 here i can easily just take my compass and just merge from um p to a right to save our time and i'll place it at a2 and i'm going to mark and that'll give me what p2 is that again similarly with the same radius of a to what to b i'll plug it at a3 to this point here and that'll give me my what b3 right then i'm going to draw my line i might just take my line this way um, connect from b3 going through a3 right and i'm going to be having this can see that so with the help of the radius of ap i'll place that a3 i'll mark along the line to get my what my p3 right and i'm going to do the same thing do the same thing from a to b right i'll place that a4 now mark along the horizontal now give me my what b4 Right, then I'll join B4 and A4. I'll draw a line this way, passing through A4. Now, I'll now mark from P to A. I'll come to A4, right, and I'll mark on the line of A4 here. And I'll give me my what? My P4. right i'll do the same thing the same measurement a to what b again i'll come to a5 and i'll mark along the line so on that line will give us what b5 right then i'll measure p to what to a 
then I'll come off A5 to get P5. So from here, I'll mark this is my P5. Right? Then I'll do the same thing from A6. From A to B. Once more, I'll come to A6. I'll mark on the line. Now, what do I notice? A6, B4, and B6 are on the same point. Right? I'm going to draw my line passing through B6 here and what and A6. Can I see that? So I'll do the same thing. Draw my line passing through there. That's the thing. Now, with the help of um, P and A here as radius, I'll come to A6 and I'm going to map here. That'll give us what? The P6. That'll give us P what? P6. Now, similarly, take from A to B once more. I'll come to A7 and I'll mark A7 and 8 and then B3 and B7 on the same point. So I'll draw my line to pass through that point. You see that? Then this is what we have. Then I'm going to measure AP, which we know it is 68. This way, and I'll place it at. 7, A7, and mark to get my P7. To get P7. Similarly, I'm going to come to AP again, right? I mean, I'll come to AB, right? I'm put it at A8, and I'll mark on the horizontal line, so AB and B2. So we have B8 and B2 on the same point. So I'll draw my line to pass through this point, through it, to get my next point. So I'm going to mark, take radius P, A, P, put it at A8 and mark, right, to get my P8. This is my P8 here. Right. Then the same thing. I'll come to AB again. Press it at A9 and mark. So A9 and B1 are the same point. So this is my B9. So draw my line to pass through the center. To pass through A9, right? I'll have this. So, with the help of my compass, I'll take AP again, place it at A9, and I'm going to mark to get my what? My P9. Right? I'll do the same thing to AB again, right? I'll come to 10, A10, I'll mark, so A10 and AB are the same point, so this is my A10, that is my B10 here, then I'll draw my line to pass through B10 here, right, now I'll have this, so with the help of my compass, I'll be having AP, with that A10, and I'll get my point, and that will be P10. P what? P10. Now the next one, take the same thing, A, B, right? I'll put it at this point here, and I'll mark, and that will be E, my <coughs> B11, right? 
to the up of the radius AP I place that A11 and I'm going to mark right so it is somewhere around here so I'm going to call it P11 P what? P11 right so this is all what the point that we have now we are going to join the locus because question says should join the locus of P so at this point P we are going to join them using our French curve now I will teach you on how to use the French curve also to join the locus of different points first of all this is like I showed you we have different French curve you can use this and try and see let's see now if I place it Let's start from here, talking about um, A, right? So, talking about um, P4, P5, and Co. So, this is P4, P5. So, those join three points at a time. So, if you notice it, P4, P5 are all meeting. Mm -hmm. to have this to ensure the three of them is touching then we we'll move forward again you try p6 and p7 now if you look at there's an opening here so you try it let them be closed Close in this manner. So whatever you are doing, ensure three of them are closed. Now I put it this way, it is closed, right? So I can easily take the next point from here to here. The touch P7. Then I move again to the next one. So you can come here. Now if you look at this. So it is closed between P7 and P8. So I'll just join it this way. Can I see that? I'll go P7 and P8 and P9. Now I cannot join these two together because it is opening. So I'll do everything possible to ensure that it is closing. So if I put it this way, you can see that it is closed. It is not open. So I'll just move it to touch here. Right? I'll come again. I'll try to join P9 and P10. Do everything possible. If I try to join them, it is not coming in, it is not closed. It is still open here. So I'll do it in a way whereby it will be closed. So if I come from here to here, it is somehow closed here. Yes, so I can use this. I can use this. I can use this. So it is closed. Right, then I can just join this. You can see that it is closed here. So you can just come here and move to this point. You can see that. So, now you join P10 and 11 together this way. You ensure that it is closed on this point here. Then I'll come here.
Just close. Right? Then I'll come here also. Make sure. From this point to this point. Three and two. I would have easily used this board. You see that it is open at the back here. So I'll try a way to make them blend in. Let me first of all take this first of all. Take this between four and three, which is close. So I'll just come here. Then the remaining one is just these two. So better, you can see that. And just use this. You are moving them until you attain perfection. This is what we have here. This is exactly what we have now this is the locus of the point now, this is the locus of what of the point so as a is changing in an anti-clockwise manner along the circular path b is changing to and fro along the linear path, just simultaneously, P is also changing in this manner, right? So, what is the path that P will form? We we'll call it the locus of P. What will it form? So, this is what it is forming here. So, this is what we we'll call a link mechanism. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.